Hello all, welcome back to Learning Partner. If you are new, please do subscribe. This is another channel where you can directly connect with me. We have around 1000 plus members already who are working. We take live coding sessions and everything so to just get notified about those sessions. Please do join this group. So in the first episode, we have seen how to do the installation and the setup and how do we create the project and what are the basic file systems we have? What are the importance of various files? Now, in this episode, we are more talking about what is component, what is, okay, sorry, data binding, we will skip. Uh, we will need a proper uh, particular episode for the data binding because we have to cover so many things. So what is component? How, what is the component decorator? How to render a component? These things we are going to see. So this is the project we had created. Now, when we uh, specifically talk about Angular, just consider like a normal HTML file. Let me just open a normal HTML file. Let me just close it. So let's create a HTML file. Let's say demo.html. Here we will create an HTML5 page. Why it is taking so much time? HTML5. So see, this is normal HTML file. Inside body, we, de uh, we design our UI, correct? Now, if I have to do the programming, I mean, with, if I have to write the script section, so where I write it? In a script tag, correct? Here I will create a variable, name is equal to something, correct? So all my coding part will go into the script tag. Again, if I have to create the classes, CSS classes, that I will do it over here, text hyphen, primary, something, color, blue, like that, correct? And this class, I will use it over here, like this, correct? So if we talk about just a normal HTML file, we can either put our programming, means script side scripting in a script tag, or we can create a separate script tag, script uh, JS file, and that JS file, we can load it over here. Likewise, for skipping CSS also, either we can put our CSS over here or we can create a separate CSS file, then load it over here. Correct. So this is how normal HTML file is. Now just keep this in mind. And when we talk about Angular, Angular component is, for now, just consider Angular component is nothing but a page. So when we talk about Angular component, component consists of three files, HTML file, .ts file and the CSS file, right? So your, whatever you write in your body here, that will go into your HTML file over here. Let me just remove everything. Here I will say H1, Angular 19, fine. So your HTML part will go over here. After that, whatever the code you are going to write, means variable you will be declaring, function you will be writing, that will go to your .ts here. And if you have to write the CSS, means classes, that will go into your CSS file. So what you do in normal HTML file, everything can be in a single file, but here we have a separate, separate file. Okay, so component will have at least three files, set of three files, CSS, HTML, and .ts a separation of concern means for everything we have separate separate file okay now one more point i forgot how to create the component how to create component so by default we get a uh, app component okay but after that we can create the component also now how do we create the component so what i will do in app folder i will create a folder just select this app folder and over here you can click on the new folder let's say components okay now inside this component folder i have to create the components it's not mandatory that you have to create the folder but just to separate out the things i'm creating a component now right click on this open new terminal now inside this you will get a terminal open on that particular folder see now here we have to create the component so again, we have to make use of the Angular CLI to create the component. So ng generate. What we have to generate? Component. So component. Then you need to specify the component name. So ng generate component and then component name. 
this is the command to create angular component like this fine so let's say first component i will be creating is the user enter so just pay attention what happens now so what happens four files has been created see create 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 user component.html spec.ts component.ts and css one more component i will create either you can write this whole form or you can write the shortcut also ng generate g for generate c for component second component i am creating is admin enter so you can see either you can write it this in a whole form or in the shortcut way also you can write now if i expand the component folder now you can see we got two component admin and the user let's try to see what things we get in the component let's open this admin dot component and let's open this user dot component let's open it side by side now see over here we have admin component and over here user component so now if you see both the things from angular 17 we got all the components are by default standalone so 19 feature before 19 now in 18 version, we used to get standalone property like true. But now from Angular 19, by default, all the components are standalone. There is no, you can see, there was no standalone property. Previously, we used to get this property, but now they have removed it. So this is one feature of Angular 19. That is by default, all components are standalone. Fine. So now in Angular, we work with TypeScript. So this is nothing but a normal TypeScript class. This is an admin component class. This is a user component class. Above both the classes, you can see something at the rate component. So this is component decorator. What is this? Component decorator. A decorator tells extra information about the class. So this will help Angular to know like this is a component class. Okay. So it tells Angular about the information about this particular class. That is the normal definition of decorator. Fine. So in component decorator, we have selector, import, template URL, style URL. Here you can see selector. Here we have got app app apps, app slash admin and user component. We have got app slash user. So selector is something unique, which will be for every component. Everyone has a name unique name and whenever we have to call someone we call it by his name correct just like that for every component we will have something unique that is selector we use this selector as a tag to render the component fine after that we have import so here it will goes module over here we are going to see this like what do we do in the import but for now just consider like here we need to provide the modules whatever the modules we are going to need in the particular component that module will go over here fine after that template url so means for this component what is the template which i'm going to use so here you can see admin component dot template html so this file reference i have added over here and what is the css file which i'm going to use for this component so this just like that in the user component also user component dot html and user component dot css file this will come by default but you should understand what it is okay now this is about the basic of the component. Now we have covered like what is component, how to create the component and what is decorator. Now, how do we render the component? So we have created two components. Before that, first, uh, I no, I've, uh, in the last episode, I forgot to explain how to run the application. So to run the application, you need to open the new command terminal. Either you click on this plus new command from will open. How do you run the project? So ng serve so this is the command to run the project once i click on enter it will my project will compile and it will be hosted on 4200 port number so now you can see it is running on localhost 4200 now we can access it so localhost 4200 so now you can see we are getting angular 19 from where it is coming let's close yeah. the other project so by default, our app component is our parent component. So in app component, you can see I have written this H1, Angular 19. So that you can see it over here. So this is your project running on localhost 4200. Okay. Now after this H1, I will add paragraph. 
this is para once i save it you can see it is automatically again compiled and here you can say this is para is coming so once you run the angular project now you don't need to again run it just directly save it your project will again automatically compile and new changes you will be able to see okay now so by default app component is visible but we have created two component admin and the user let's check the admin component so in admin component html we have we are able to see something admin works and in user component user works let's make it instead of h1 let's get h2 user page okay in user component in html what i have written h2 user page and in admin component i will use h1 and here i will write admin page or let's try uh, again we will write a paragraph hi from admin component fine so we have two component user component and admin component in both the component we have different sets of some html code now how do we render this component into our app component okay till now like we are not going to see routing yet but before that if we have to render the component how we are going to render so by default app component is running correct so if you see over here this app component is running so app component is our parent component for now so in app component we will render our admin and the user component so what i will does i will create the table let's just add a style width width 100 percent okay now inside this table i will create tr and i will create two td first td second td now in first td i have to render admin component so how do we render a component by using its selector this is the admin component selector so let's copy and let's go it over here and as an html tag we can render it but now we are getting error so as i said from angular 17 all the components are standalone from angular 19 by default it is standalone only so now if we have to use one component into another component first we need to import it so now we are trying to use admin component into app component so we have to go to app component.ts and in the import section we have to import admin component see this class name it is suggesting once you click on it now import will get automatically added see we got the import let's remove this router or like we are not needing right now so once you save it now then error is going away just like that if we have to use user component over here i'm going to use the user component so again we need to add the import comma user component dot ts okay now i can use it so app hyphen user this is the selector of user component let's just save it and check it so now here you can see admin page is printed and user component is loaded so in app component we have created table and inside the table we have two td in both the td we have rendered our both the component so this is how you render the component but before rendering first you need to import that component classes over here make sure you are using it okay now so this is uh, the basic part we have completed like what is component how to create the component what is component decorator how to render the component one more point we have to cover regarding component how to create single file component as i said component will consist at least the three file dot html dot ts and dot css file but we can have a single line component also okay how do we do that so let's uh, convert this user component let's say if we see the component decorator here we have template url and the style url if you are going to use external html file then you can use template url if you are going to use external css file then you will use uh, style dot style url otherwise let's remove this and let's delete this html file and let's delete this css file also this testing file also we don't need let's delete it so currently what i have just the user.component.ts now 
here instead of template URL, we can have a template also. See, we have two options, template and template URL. So now, right now, we are going to use template. So template is like, here only you can design the HTML. Instead of using external HTML file, here only you can design the file like this. H1. Let's print I from user page. Okay. Let's save. Uh, where we are getting the error, user component, it is throwing error. Why it is throwing error? Let's stop it and compile it again. Might be catch issue ng serve enter it should build properly or we have to close it yeah it is building properly now if i refresh still you can see hi from user page is coming so either in admin component just pay attention in admin component we are using a extra html separate html file but in user component i have designed the css here only got it fine now, as a CSS file, so in admin component.css, I will create a file, uh, class text welcome. Here I will say color red. Okay. So what I did, I have created a class that is text hyphen welcome. Now this class, I can use it in my HTML. Let's add it over here. Let's just save it and check it. See, the red class got added over here. Got it? Now, the class text welcome I have created in admin component. So let's try to use this class in user component. Let's see if we are able to use it. Class over here. Sorry, single port we need to provide because we are using the template. Let's save. Now if I see class has been added, but it's not adding the CSS. Means if we create a class in one particular component, we have to use that class in that particular HTML only. We cannot use this classes created over here into another component. Got it? So whenever you create a class in a particular component CSS file, that classes we can use in the HTML only, over here only. We cannot use those classes outside that component. Okay? Now, how do we create the classes in a uh, single file component? So instead of style URL, we can go with the style. Square bracket, first text, let's say danger, color, let's say blue, like this. You can create an array of classes like this. Now this text danger class, I will add it over here. Let's see. See, now we got the blue color. So this is how you create the component classes either you can have a one file component so this is an inter question like can we have a single file component yes so instead of extra html file you can design the html over here only and instead of extra css you can write your classes over here only got it so now how do when do we have to go for the single uh, single component if we know we just have a very small html code so instead of creating extra html file you can design your html over here only Correct. So this is everything you should know related to component. Okay. So we have covered almost everything what we should know about the component. Again, so many things are there, but we will come to know once we move ahead, move ahead in our session. Fine. So it, with every topic, we will be discussing what new things we have got in Angular 19. So we don't have to waste extra time to understand like what is the new, what are the new features we have in Angular 19. Like first point we have seen like by default, all the components are standalone. So now we don't get that standalone property in the Angular 19. By default, it is standalone now. Fine. So this comes to an end of this episode. Please do like and subscribe. Please do add comment also. It will help me to grow my channel. In next episode, we will be discussing what is data binding.